Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my week 29 check-in. Oh my gosh. I say that every week. I just, as the numbers get bigger and bigger, I'm so proud of myself for continuing through this process and staying so true to the path I've chosen because staying power, not typically my thing um, when it comes to weight loss. So, but here I am, week 29. And, drum roll, I know that was pretty silly, but today's weigh-in was really good. I was down 2.8 pounds, which put me over the 34 pound mark. So I'm at 34.3 pounds lost, which um, I'm thrilled with. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I didn't expect to see the number on the scale that I saw today. So uh, I'll take it for sure, take it for sure. And the good thing is, you know, when the scale moves, I feel good, but I think I'm coming to terms with, I'm feeling good no matter what the scale does. And I think that for me is a win, like a huge, huge, huge win. So yay for the scale, but you know, next week when it doesn't move as much or it doesn't move at all or it moves in the wrong direction, I'm going to still be yay because I'm knowing that I'm doing the right thing. So, yay! That's how my week is starting off. And it's great. And it's Friday and it's spring and it's pretty exciting. I love this time of year. Everything's fresh and new and pretty and bright and sunshiny and it just makes me happy and I think you know being happy just helps me to even do better so I've gotten through the hardest part of starting this last year my journey because I started right before winter went through the doldrums of winter and uh, I've come out the other side it's spring it's summer the opportunities are endless the fresh fruits are starting to show up back in the stores uh, you know, on people's plates and tables, and it's just, it's great. I, I'm just in a really good place right now, and I'm very happy to be here. Um, so, that's my check-in. I have a couple things I want to talk about. One is, I exercised two times this week. Two, 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 two. I did. I did a two and a half mile walk on Tuesday. Um, and I did 35 minutes of jumping on my trampoline and dancing yesterday. So that's kind of exciting because I hate exercise. Hate it. Hate it. Well, okay. Let me say this again. I always say I'm allergic to exercise because it makes me sweat. I don't like to sweat. <laughs> no, it's silly. You're probably not going to want to follow me if you think that I'm going to turn into one of those people that is always in the gym or always exercising or, um, you know, is getting toned and buffed because I don't foresee that happening. But that being said, I will admit that um, I'm looking for ways to be more active. So... Whether that means taking a walk like I did on Tuesday, we were going to Target to check out the Mario Kart takeover. Uh, Mario Kart's out today, woo! I'm gonna go pick mine up in a little bit. Um, but to, to see the Mario Kart takeover, my daughter lives about a mile, just a little over a mile from Target. So we decided instead of driving from her house to Target, we would just walk. It was a beautiful day. And if you watched my What I Ate for Tuesday, you'll see part, or you saw part of that um, journey. And it's just, you know, it's just kind of trying to do, incorporate little things like that. Um, yesterday, I was gonna go for a walk. I was just gonna go walk around my neighborhood, nothing intense. And it looked like it was gonna rain. So I dusted off my mini trampoline that I keep in the corner of the family room. I cranked up the music, like cranked it up high. 
And I just jumped and sang and danced. And then when I got done jumping on the trampoline, I thought I was done working out. And then I danced in my family room for another 10 minutes. Um, so, you know, it's just little things like that. Um, if you watch my What I Ate for yesterday, I included a little clip of that and of the path at my dad's house because I ended up going to my dad's last night. Um, and he has a path that takes us down to the river, but the path to come, when you come back up, it is pretty steep. And I, by the time I would get to his house, would always be out of breath. And uh, yesterday I did up and down the path twice and didn't even break a sweat. So um, just, by, just by getting that 34 pounds off of me, uh, it made it easier to make that trek. And it makes it easier for me to be active and to find things that interest me enough to get my body moving. So as far as exercise for me, that's what it's always going to be about. If it's something that is fun for me to do, I'll do it. If it's a chore, which I, you know, I've joined the gym a million times. I've, I've taken different classes and stuff. And, um, that's not always my favorite way to do things like walking on a treadmill shoot me in the head. I it's just, No, I just don't want to do it. It's boring. I have better things to do with my life. I'm so busy. I have so many things to do that I don't want to spend that time, um, you know, on a treadmill. But if I can do something fun, like go on a walk that gets me to a destination or dance and sing or things like that, then I'll do it. It's just a matter of doing it. So I am going to challenge myself to do two or three, maybe three, bouts of exercise to this week. Bouts of activity. Maybe not even just exercise, but just something that gets my heart rate up, keeps my heart rate up um, for at least 20 minutes. And hopefully I will be able to do that without too much of a, a struggle. But that is, I'm, I'm putting that out here for accountability for you guys because I need to get more active. Uh, I need to get away from my desk, get away from the seats, get away from sitting on my butt more than I do. And it's very easy for me to get lost in things that I do sitting down <laughs> and realize before too long that the time is just completely gone and, you know, my window to do whatever is has passed. So I'm going to try to you know, build it into my schedule if it's before I go to work, if it's, you know, just I'm trying to schedule that into my day. So this week, my goal is two to three uh, bouts of something activity wise for at least 20 minutes. So hold me accountable, guys. Hold me accountable. So, OK, so I want to talk about one more thing that came up because of um my trampoline workout yesterday. I recorded it, and if you watched my What I Ate for yesterday, you'll see a little bit of it in there. Of course, sped up and without the music so that I didn't get a copyright claim. But I decided to post on my Instagram account. I've been working really hard to be more active on Instagram because I love looking at Instagram and I've decided to participate more. So, and if you haven't followed my Instagram, the link is down below if you want to follow me. But I decided to post a clip of me in real time jumping on the trampoline. And I watched the video and you are your, your own harshest critic and, and that is so true in my case. I almost didn't post it. I almost didn't post it because I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed by what I look like. I was embarrassed by my belly jumping around. But I was having so much fun when I was doing it. But when I looked at it later, I was so embarrassed. Like when I hit the send button on Instagram, I almost cried. And I realized that 
the reason it affected me so much is I try to put a facade on and only let people see certain parts of me. Um, and you know, I'm pretty open in this journey about how I'm feeling and, um, you know, what I'm going through. But when it comes to like bearing myself um, in pictures and video, I'm still, I still struggle. It's gotten easier. Like I've sat in front of this camera now for 29 weeks, sometimes six and seven days a week doing it. But it's always what you see of me is somewhat controlled. You know, I choose what I'm showing you unless it's like my my journey in a snapshot video where I, I show you the worst pictures of me that I could find um, and things like that. But but for the most part, you know, I know how my hair is and and of course I don't wear makeup, but you know, I know what I'm looking like and know what I'm wearing. And if I don't like it, I can delete it. Um, and I could have deleted the jumping, but I thought I needed to post it for myself um, because how will I ever see where I've come from when I get to the end of this journey and start my next one if I don't document things like that. But it hurt. It was so painful so painful. I am, I'm still like just thinking about it. It's making me emotional because I sat there and literally wanted to cry. I was so afraid of what other people, what other people would think or say about me. So yet again, I realized one more thing that I still need to truly work on in this journey. And that is not giving a damn what other people think of me, right? You know, at my age, you would think I would be past it. And I am to some extent, and I'm getting there. I'm getting stronger every day. Don't get me wrong. I am getting stronger every day. And part of it is sitting in front of this silly camera all the time and then having to look at myself as I edit the video that I'm recording. Uh, and, you know, again, I'm my own harshest critic. I see every flaw, I see every piece of ugliness. I I pick myself apart and that is stuff I need to get over. I need to get over it. Because, you know, I'm not, how do I wanna say this? I'm not, I'm not the sum of what people see on the outside. And I think we're raised in a society that has said that if you don't fit a certain mold on the outside, that you're not worthy. I'm worthy. You're worthy. I'm worthy. We're all worthy. This is a shell. This is, this is a shell. And we have to stop being so concerned with the shell as far as looks go. And you know, this is a common thing I talk about in my, my videos is that I'm doing this journey to get healthy, to make a healthier me, a healthier body, to feed my body properly versus um, just trying to, to look a certain way. And the benefit of a, or I should say a benefit of this journey is that my body will change. And through that change, I will have to deal with other things about my body that I don't like. I will have to deal with hanging skin. I will have to deal with arm flaps. I will have to deal with different issues than I deal with as a filled out overweight woman, right? And right now I'm somewhere in the, the middle of the, the whole process. You know, I have 101 pounds total I want to lose, if not more. And I've lost 34. So that leaves me with, you know, just a, a tidge over 65 pounds left to go. So I'm barely a third of the way into this process. Um, and I'm still learning. And I'm still dealing with 
how to love all of this at this weight, at the weight that I was when I started this process, and at the weight I'll be when I finally feel that I have reached the end of that journey. But yesterday, posting that video really made me aware of how far I still have to go in here. I, I always have these like little epiphanies and I wanna share them with you because I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm not the only one. And I'm sure we all spend a lot of time, especially those of us who make YouTube videos, trying to shape a narrative, trying to shape what we want you to see of us. But I want you to see the insecurities and the fears and the things I struggle with as much as I want you to see my successes because I don't think that we're a great support system to each other if we're not honest about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and that's just my opinion. You guys could feel completely different. But that is how I feel that I need to do this if I'm doing this in front of the camera. I need to be real. I'm not going to be like the reality TV like the Kardashians where it's all shaped and, and you see only, you know, the fabulous or whatever they want to share, whatever drama they want to make up. This is me. This is my life. And this is my journey, my struggle, my successes. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to throw that out there, share that with you because I think it's, it's, um, something that really struck a chord in me. And I did, I did comment about it a little bit on Instagram yesterday and everybody's been, of course, wonderfully supportive. And thankfully Instagram doesn't have any thumbs down buttons or anything like that. And you can, you know, deal with it, but but it is what it is, and I am who I am, and I just wanted to uh, bring that up. So I guess that is how I will end today's weigh-in, check-in, whatever, weekly check-in video. Um, you know, it is. It's just me. It's me, Heather. So as always, if you enjoy my videos, give me a thumbs up. Just let me know you watched. Uh, and if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed and you'd like to get notifications when I post new videos, hit the subscribe button. YouTube will send you an email, uh, let you know when I post something new and we can take this journey together. Please also comment, 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 comment. I reply to every comment, um, for the most part, unless they're spam, but I want to hear from you. I want you to share your story with me. If you have a YouTube channel that focuses on your weight loss journey, let me know because I'm always checking out new channels and I'd be happy to support you as much as you support me. So yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys again next week for my week 30 check-in. Woo, 30. I'm so excited. And hopefully it'll be a good check-in. Uh, and I'll have some news to report on my non-workout exercise activity challenge with myself. <laughs> anyway, until then, I'll see you guys again real soon. Have a great one.